decided to go paddle up the uh, Swan River for a couple of days. See where I can get to. Did a little map yesterday and um, to get to where I want to go is a lot further than what I thought it would be. <laughs> so we'll just see where Boz and I can get and we'll just camp up where we can. When I shake my head and I will bag you out Your friends with open feelings that I will die When you've had a sip, yeah, you've lost your way We laugh, we smile, we fight And when I crack the code to a favorite song That is miles apart But you hate that it's one about people And the change in the world That is crumbling under your very soul Nemesis Murray, the pelican. Murray's never been a big fan of pelicans. <laughs> Oi, be quiet. He, uh, we've got a camp spot down in Denmark, and Denmark is renowned for a huge amount. Um, huge numbers in uh, pelicans, so they're always dropping out of the sky just near our camp or cruising past and he, uh, he's always too chicken to just say hello to them. You don't need to be a sook and have a go at them. Just gotta say hello. Yeah, you can sniff them. What's all that noise, eh? Eh? <laughs> People always say, what the hell am I supposed to do? Breaking my back just to get right after you. It's funny in a world that is meant for me, it's true. In my mind, the many notes that I wrote here for. In my mind, the many notes that I wrote here for. You want some protein bar? You've already put your hair on it somehow. Alright. I don't think I can do it to In fact, I'm quite sure I can't. However, there's some ducks just there if you want to get them. You want to get a duck? So I've just done some research. Turns out you can have somebody you need to chew. Like that, okay? You need to chew, chew it. So me you chew. Good boy. So, they're not toxic for you, but if you don't chew them right, it can obviously be a bit hard to poop out. Good job. We are The Almond Brothers. <laughs> that right? Yeah, shaka, shaka. Yeah.
big one. I'll take his brother. Let's get this over with. Cause I'm late for work. Do you remember when we were young? Swing starts to cross home. Shirt and the song. say to us becoming best friends? If you don't answer, it's a yes. Thanks, guys. So Moz and I are back on the water. Had a pretty cruisy start um, because the tent and the tent cover were pretty wet rained a bit last night and obviously the morning morning dew as well um, so yeah we're back on the back on the water we camped around Guildford last night which is really nice it's actually much louder than I thought it would be um, because of the plains nearby so um, beautiful little spot though uh, and now we're heading further up to up the swan to um, around the West Swan, Upper Swan area. So, the original plan was to get the Bells Rapids, but if I get there today, uh, it's about another, yeah, 25 k's from here. If I get there today, that means tomorrow to get home with the supplies we've got, is about a 60 k paddle. And I don't exactly have the most energetic and sustainable food, so, I don't know if we're going to do that. We'll just go for a paddle today, see where we get to. I've found some good camp spots just back there already, so it doesn't really matter what happens. You all right, Wiggly? Hey? What do you reckon, Moz? Reckon we can do this without getting wet again? Hold up. I have faith in us, Moz. Okay, come on. Boy, uh, uh, what are you doing? Good. Hop in, you stay in. Come on. Good boy. Good boy, 
That's it. Go forward. Go forward. <laughs> Stay there. It's all right. Not sure if this is working. Was. Oh. <laughs> okay. Come here. Oh God. oh God. You didn't have to hop out. It's all right. That was a bit of a mission. <sighs> Made it to Upper Swan. <sighs> oh, which means I think we've paddled about 25 this morning. So, um, got to the little uh, brook that I kind of wanted to get to to then trace around the back of, um, of a friend's winery. And I'm um, stopping for lunch, but as you can see there, it's basically impassable, so <sighs> not gonna happen. Um, so just rest here for half hour and um, turn around and go back. Murray's doing a poo. As you can see, I mean, this is five meters into the brook and we're already met with this and then that and then I'm sure it continues yeah it definitely does yeah it's just a stream down there bit of a bugger really wanted to just pull up at the back of my mate's winery and he's got a cheese shop there as well. <laughs> How good wine and cheese for tonight. Oh, it would have been amazing. Oh well, nothing you can do about it. Oh God, that is dry. So I think the plan is now now that we can't get through this brook is to um, yeah, turn around and is that floating away Moz? you going to do something about it? he's going to watch it <laughs> um, turn around and head back with the current try and paddle the, uh, the 20 or 25 whatever we've just done paddle that back um, so I saw some good camp spots out near Guildford, so get down there and yeah, all sorted. Start heading home, get home tomorrow, though. What do you reckon? You happy with that? Of course you are. How good is this? I didn't even realise the um, Swan River had this much of a current. I'm not even paddling. How good! I don't mean to alarm you, but we're fairly flying down here. What is right?
Yeah. <laughs> Scared of the speed. Tell you what, a bit of training before this would have uh, would have been nice. Should have just gone whatever it's going to be, 80 k without paddling before. <laughs> So the river's been good to us at the moment. I mean, it was good to us on the way up. It wasn't actually, it wasn't bad, it wasn't good, but there was a current. And now, now I don't even have to do anything to um, get some movement going. So, and as soon as I paddle, you know, you just bloody fly. So half the time, half the effort to get back at, at this rate. We'll um, get back to Guildford tonight and yeah, chill out there. and have a feed and yeah have a play <sighs> even floating sideways as quick as I was paddling up Go on, go on. Go away, go on. <laughs> oh. Pretty wrecked. That was a big day. Probably did about 40 k's. Babes, you yoked. <laughs> I'm just gonna get warm, have a little fire, cook a big feed, some vino, and go to bed. Oh. Whew. Right, Moz, you're good to go. Should we try this downward slippery slope slide? I think we should. I think it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be fun. Just wait. Moz, we'll both end up overboard. Okay. Now I've got you the water pack as a seat cushion. Okay, come on. Here you go. Boy. This looks kind of gnarly. Steady. Steady. I feel like Homer Simpson when he's like steady, steady, and then he really fucks up. Oh, really? Oh, grab the oar, Moz. Grab the oar. Oh, oh. Get us in. Like a glove. I thought we were going to last up then for sure, Murray. For sure. My beautiful camp spot. What is that racket, hey?
Last day on the water for Moz and I. It's been an awesome little journey. Hasn't it? Hey. We've had magic conditions. I mean, we knew we were going to have pretty good conditions, but it's great. What a great little experience this has been. Just kayak, camp, kayak, camp. Have a cook up, have a coffee, have a play with Moz. It's been awesome. What do you reckon, Moz? Keep going. All right.